Welcome back everybody to my channel, whether you are a new or returning subscriber. My name is Anna and I am so glad you are here. This week we are going to do a hip opening stretchy flow. This is a great class to do um, towards the end of your day when you're kind of winding down your evening. You can also do this on a day you feel like really sore from a heavy workout day. I got some requests, yeah, for some hip uh, focused stretching, hip focused flow. So we are going to jump into that. What you are going to need for class today, um, I will work with two blocks. You don't have to um, use blocks, but if you got them around your house or even pillows, that is perfect. Once you are ready to start, I will meet you here on your mat. We are going to get into it with a hip opening pose to open. We'll start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So as you're ready, we're going to recline on your mat. Feel free to use your blocks or pillows here. Once you make your way down onto your backs, bring the soles of your feet together, let the knees open. And then option to take your blocks or your pillows, prop them underneath your knees or your thighs, really allowing the pelvis, the lower back to melt into the ground. Option to rest your arms down by your sides or maybe letting one hand rest on your heart, one hand rest on your belly. Just beginning to encourage yourself to let go, to slow down, right? Becoming a little more receptive. And we'll start to cultivate that receptivity by connecting to your breath. Complete your current exhale, pressing the stale air from your lungs. And taking a fresh wave of breath here, we'll inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale to fill your belly, your ribs, and your chest. Open mouth, exhale, emptying chest, ribs, and belly. And I invite you to stay with this breath, inviting it to become as fluid as possible. Your breath has this wave-like quality to it. So energetically, the area of the hips is connected to the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra, the hips are energetically connected to the element of water. And through this hip opening flow, we'll cultivate a little bit of balance to that water energy. So maybe that's unlocking stagnant energy, or maybe finding a little more calmness in the intensity of any waves that might come up for you. Stay here one more cycle of breath in. Stay here one more cycle of breath out. Link your eyes to open if they were closed. And then we'll use your hands to guide your knees over your hips. So you're finding almost like a little dead bug shape here. Relax your legs. You can kind of just encourage them to let go. The hips, the legs are really heavy here as you make some big leg circles going in one direction. So really stirring your thighs going one way. You can notice my hips are kind of rocking on the mat. And then you're going to change directions. So let's start to circle the legs the other way. Again, really just letting the arms do the work here. Legs are really heavy. It's like you're stirring your thigh bones around like they're big wooden spoons. Taking one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, we'll place your feet like mats with distance apart. So you can kind of clear off um, your blocks. 
feet are mats with distance apart. And then I want you to drop your right thigh. Let the right thigh kind of drop towards the center of your mat. Let the left thigh rest on top. So you're giving yourself a little bit of internal rotation here. And just a very gentle internal um, hip opening. Just sensing into that, using your breath. Maintaining that fluid quality of your breath. Staying here, one more inhale. And then we'll switch sides. So you're gonna uncross your legs, let the left thigh drop more towards center, the right thigh will rest on top. And if you're feeling this at all in your knees, flex your feet. It's gonna help stabilize your knees. <sighs> one side might feel a little more intense than the other, even though this is a more of a gentle opening, I'm still feeling it a little more in my left hip then I am my right. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, we'll uncross your legs, place your feet on the ground, and then the right ankle will cross over your left thigh. Now you can stay right here. Really feel the tailbone start to arch towards the ground. Pull your toes back towards your shin, let the right thigh drop away from your torso. And then the other option is to interlace your hands behind the left thigh, hugging everything in here. Press the shoulder blades into your mat. Again, feel your tailbone kind of arch to the ground. Now getting that stretch through external rotation. Just one more inhale here. Exhale, let's change your sides. You'll uncross your legs and then we'll switch. So we'll start with your right foot down. The left ankle goes over your right thigh. Again, you wanna flex your foot. So if the uh, inner ankle of your left foot is kind of wrinkled, think of taking those wrinkles out, pull your toes back towards your shins. Option to stay here, maybe your hands interlace behind your right thigh. Press your shoulder blades down into the ground. Feel your tailbone arch towards the floor. Let that fluid quality in your breath start to create a sense of fluidity within the body. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, we'll unwind your knees into your chest and you can rock or press yourself up into a down dog. So whichever is gonna be the most comfortable for you, take your time to get there. And then downward facing dog will be where we meet. Hands are shoulder width distance, feet are hips width distance apart. Feel free to pedal out a little bit of movement here maybe shaking the head or bending one knee at a time. So you're really kind of unwinding that residual tension from your day. Shaking and waking up any stagnant energy that needs to move through and out of the body. Let's find some stillness as you're ready. Root your left heel down and let's inhale to a three leg dog. So I want you to send the right leg high, keep your hips square. And then as you exhale, bend your right knee into your chest. The chest, the hips stay square again. Give me three big leg circles to the right. So we'll go to the right for three, two, one, and then reverse that direction for one, two, three. Love my hip circles. Inhale, straighten your right leg, square your hips. And then as you exhale, let's step your right foot wide outside of your right hand. So you have a nice wide lunge here. Roll the shoulders down, feel the left thigh press up and maybe take a little bit of a rock here going forward and back. So once again, to kind of call in that water imagery, really sense and imagine your pelvis is like this really beautiful bowl and your breath is water just spilling into that bowl. Let's find some stillness now as you're ready. Shoulders are rolling down. Feel the tailbone scoop forward but press your left quad up. And then as you inhale, I want you to send the right arm high, just finding 
a little bit of twist here, adding some rotation on with this hip opening. Turn through the center of your ribs. Stack your right thumb over the bridge of your nose. Good, let's stay here. One more inhale. Exhale, place your right hand down. And then really push into your hands, stepping back to plank just for a moment here. Option to have the knees down. And if your knees are lifted, press the quads up as the heels drive back. Elongate your neck, crown of head is reaching forward. And staying here, just one more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog and take it back. Deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. Send your left leg high now as you inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, keep your hips square. Three big circles to the left for three, two, one. And then reverse that for one, two, three. Good, inhale, straighten your left leg, square your hips. Exhale, wide lunge. Go ahead, step left foot outside your left hand. Taking that moment to settle in, press the right quad up. So you're energizing the back leg. Maybe take a little rock here, shifting forward and back. Breathing effortlessly into the bowl of your hips. then right finding stillness squeeze through the right glute and notice how that will help you press the thigh bone back really feel tailbone hugging forward towards pubic bone you'll plant the right hand down send your left arm high as you twist here rotating through your rib cage through the center of your chest let's breathe in and then as you exhale, place your left hand back down. Look forward because this time we'll move into a squat. So now the right foot will step up to be by the left and your feet are wide. Again, mats with distance apart. Begin to bend your knees, drop your hips down. I want you to keep your feet on the floor. So I'm kind of in this more umpire-esque stance right now. If you have blocks, right, you wanna grab that block. Go ahead and sit on the block um, at any height that's comfortable for you. And if the heels are really lifting, it's totally fine. Um, squat is really hard. <laughs> um, so option then to just widen your stance and find that position that allows the heels to come down. Once you are here, let's make this active. Start to squeeze your outer hips, press your inner thighs back. Lift the base of your heart up to the front of your sternum. Pressing into your outer heels. Let's take one more inhale here. Exhale, let's fold. As you lift the hips, release your hands down, bring your feet to about hips width distance. It's about 10 inches or so between your feet. Let's create a big bend into your knees. And I want you to bend your knees until the hands are down on the ground. If there's any tension that you can sense and sensing that tension without judgment, without even commentary. Just allow it to melt, to release. So we have your hands planted on the ground, right? I want your um, knees bent until that's happening for you. And we'll just do a couple bending and extending of the knees. So as you inhale, let's just begin to bend your knees more, let the hips lower. So you're gonna feel a little bit of weight in the heels. 
And then as you exhale, let's begin to lift your hips, starting to straighten the legs to your comfort level. Shift your body a little bit forward and then really engage the quad. So feel your kneecaps lift away from your shins. A couple more times, inhale, bend your knees, sink the hips. Exhale as you lift the hips, tip your body slightly forward, firm through the quads. Good, one more time, inhale, bend. And exhale, stretch. This time as you bend your knees, inhale, lower the hips. You'll tuck your chin to your chest and then with your knees nice and soft like that, roll to stand, stacking vertebra on top of vertebra. And your head is going to be the last. That rolls up. Nice, we'll take a shoulder roll at the top to your ears and all the way down your back. Inhale, let's rise your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, soften your knees. Lift up halfway as you inhale, roll the shoulders down. Exhale, step your left foot back. Find a low lunge, your right knee's over your ankle. Lower your left knee down, inhale to a low crescent lunge. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Feel the pelvis scoop forward as you rise, breathing in. Exhale, downward facing dog, plant your hands and step your right foot back. Send your left leg high as you inhale. Exhale, low lunge, step the left foot forward. The right foot will step to meet the left. Inhale as you lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, step your right foot back. Lower your right knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge, rising up. Right thigh bone drags forward, left heel drags back, so legs are active. Take an inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your left foot steps to meet the right. Inhale, float right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, round your back to bring the right foot through. Left foot steps to meet your right. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reaching up. Palms touch, exhale, hands to heart. Good. Let's do that one more time each side. Inhale, rise in the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. The right foot steps to meet your left. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach your arms up. Palms touch, exhale, hands to heart. Good, inhale, rise your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, low crescent lunge, hip scoop forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot steps to meet your right. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Inhale, let's rise your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, listen here. Let's step back to a high plank. So this time, come back to the top of your push-up. 
spread your fingers wide. You press the mat away from you, breathing in. And then exhale, let's slowly lower all the way down onto your stomach. Good. Hands will slide under your elbows. Inhale to a baby cobra. Let's just pause here. Just getting a little bit of heart opening. Feel your toenails press down into the mat. So the kneecaps are lifting from the floor, but your feet are really connected. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Maybe your hands hover off the ground. Lengthen crown of head and toes away from each other, taking one more inhale here. And as you exhale, just take a moment to lower with your head um, resting on your hands. Just kind of releasing into the floor. Feeling that fluidity, this ocean-like quality to your breath help you tap into that experience of surrender and release. We'll make your way into Sphinx Pose. So the elbows will come down under your shoulders and as you press into your toes, again, legs are active. Feel your tailbone anchor into the ground. And then we'll add on to the Sphinx Pose and we'll take this into a prone frog. Take your left hand and let it turn towards your right elbow. So that's gonna be kind of this nice stable base for you. You're gonna to begin to squeeze your right glute and just bend your right knee. With your tailbone scooping into your mat, pull your heel to your hip with just your muscles as much as you can. So you're really getting that power first. And then option to reach back with your right hand for your right foot. You can stay here, really drop the right hip into the floor. Maybe you start to guide the heel down to the hip. And if you're doing this on your right hand, option to take your fingers and let them rotate to the left. I was gonna be like clockwise or counterclockwise? To the left, that's counterclockwise. So now my elbow points up and my right fingers point forward. Drop the right hip into the mat Press into your right elbow, lift your heart. Stay with it, y'all. Keep squeezing your right glute. Just taking one more inhale here. And then really slow, keep squeezing your right glute. Slow, 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 release. Good. So, right, if you kind of boomerang out of it, that means that you were really like passively forcing yourself into a position that the strength and the capacity of your muscles could not hold. So that control when you exit a pose and also that sense of strength um, when you're coming into a pose is super important. Anyway, other side, take your right hand, turn it towards your left elbow. So that's your nice stable base bend your left knee and using your glute, you're squeezing your heel to your hip as much as you can. And you can stay right there. Or maybe you add on here, reach back with your left hand for the left foot. You can stay, start to drop the left hip into the floor. Maybe your left hand starts to rotate clockwise. So your fingers point forward and the elbow points up. Now, if you're sinking into your right arm, press your right arm down into the floor, lift your heart. Really nice, everybody. Taking one more inhale here. And then slow, 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 right? Exhale, slowly release, good. Once you're down, let the hands slowly come back under your shoulders and we'll press into a child's pose just for a moment so you can really feel the back start to stretch. Hips root down to your heels. One more inhale here. And a full exhale. Slowly shifting back to your hands and we'll meet in a down dog. Heels are melting down, arch your tailbone up. 
And then you'll root your left heel, float your right leg high as you inhale. Exhale to a half pigeon. Guide your right knee towards your right wrist and start to feel your hips sink towards the floor. Now this is where a block or any kind of prop may come in handy. That can be your yoga block here. Maybe it's something like a pillow. And that just allows your hips to really get level. Feel your left hip turn forward as the right hip crease starts to drag back. Option to really stay upright. This can be a nice challenge for people um, that might speak to you, right? To be a little bit more upright. An option to begin to walk yourself down into your fault. Really allowing that full cycle of your breath to be as fluid as possible. Take your time as you walk your hands back under your shoulders. Downward facing dog is where we meet. And feel free, right? You can pedal in your down dog or maybe take a three leg dog. So just doing a couple circles or something if that feels good for you. Just so you can reset. And we'll take that on the other side. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, setting up for half pigeon. As you guide your left knee to your left wrist, sinking your hips towards the floor. So something that I do see happen is we'll like just sit onto your left hip, but I encourage you to roll your right hip forward and slightly down. Feel your left hip crease pull back. Part of the setup of this pose with intention, I want you to put a lot of intention into setting up your half pigeon, right? So that might mean grabbing your pillow, grabbing your block. Feel free to stay more upright. Or as you're ready, maybe you take this down into your fold. One more ocean wave of breath in. Ocean wave of breath out. As you're ready, walk your hands under your shoulders and we'll press back into down dog. Right, taking whatever you need to take on this side, pedaling the knees or taking a three leg dog just to feel like you're resetting. As we find this final down dog of your practice, just welcoming that ocean wave of breath in here. Ocean wave breath out.
So you inhale, look forward, bend your knees. And we'll exhale down into a seated position. If you're ready to begin slowing down your day, it's bedtime for you, feel free to take these closing postures in bed. Um, they can be done there, but we'll meet down on our backs. So feel free to sit with your feet on the floor, knees bent. You'll reach the arms in front of you as you inhale. And as you exhale, begin to roll down onto your back and we'll meet in happy baby. So as you roll down, the feet will also begin to flex as your knees bend. And then reach in between your knees to hold outsides of your calves, ankles, or feet. Feel the back of the skull, your shoulder blades, the sacrum rooting, melting into the floor. Option to take a little rock here, side to side. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, let's place your left foot on the ground, cross right ankle over your thigh and the arms can be in a T. Bump your hips to the right, let the shape of your legs start to drop to the left. So we're finding this figure four style twist. Broaden your shoulder blades. Let your head be heavy here. As you're ready, come back to center and we'll change sides. The left ankle crosses over your right thigh. The arms will open into a T. Bump your hips to the left and let that shape of your legs start to fall to the right. So my left foot is coming down onto the mat. Feel free to turn your gaze to the left. And then as you are ready, we'll come back to center, hug your knees into your chest your forehead to your knees and your knees to your forehead just very genuinely giving yourself an embrace here fully filling up with a big inhale big exhale out into shavasana You are completely welcome to stay in the Shavasana. If you're in bed and you're ready to let go into sleep, you can absolutely stay there. 
Otherwise, if it's time for you to move into the rest of your day, begin to awaken life back into the body, wiggle your fingers, your toes, ankles and wrists. Gently wakening yourself up, maybe taking a full stretch before you roll through one side in that supported fetal position, which represents our rebirth emerging from the death of our practice. Right? Emerging from that place of complete surrender. And bring that sense of reawakening. Guide yourself into just a comfortable seat. You allow the hands to rest on your thighs or letting one hand rest on heart, one hand rest on your belly. And we'll close with a full breath in and a full breath out. Join your hands together in prayer, thumbs rise between your brows, third eye center, the seat of your inner light and your inner guide. We bow in gratitude, thanking yourself for carving this time out of your day for your movement, for your yoga practice. And I sincerely thank you for letting me guide your practice. Thank you all so, so much. Um, it is such an honor to be able to be with you in this virtual space, um, sharing our practice. So thank you all so much. I hope your hips feel a little more open after this flow. Please let me know how that was in the comments. I always love to hear from you. Um, if there is a friend who could use some free movement in their life, please send this class to them or any class of mine that you think um, they would enjoy. Again, thank you so much. Um, and I will see you in the next video.